Okay, so this is Mildred from Sweet Sugar Plum Home, the whole idea. Well, you know what season we up to, y'all. Valentine's. So we got a little uh, stuffed little cabola bear here. And so what I'm going to do today is a simple Valentine's decor. And I'm going to take y'all over to where I'm going to do this decor at. Um, I'm wishing y'all all a safe and happy Valentine's Day next week. It's Valentine's Day, and I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and a safe New Year beginning so far. So let's go over here with my table to, oh, I hope I got everything, y'all, because I know y'all don't want me to keep getting up to find this and find that. So I have a kissing group, y'all. Oh, oh, it's over. I'll show. Oh, is it? I don't know my camera. Okay. I have a kissing boot. And all we need to do is to glue. This is a wooden uh, kissing boot that I got from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Yes, from the Dollar Tree. Y'all are right. And what you can do is you can make your own. You, yes, you can make your own with this. You can um, uh, get a cardboard or wooden thing if you got the uh, right equipment. You cut out this stuff here and do it yourself, okay? Yeah, if you want more than one uh, kissing bo uh, boot. Uh, so now we got the kissing boot. And what is missing is the couple in the kissing boot, the boy and the girl. So what I'm going to do, since this kissing boot looks like it's falling apart a little bit, I got to glue it back up, y'all. <laughs> so y'all bear with me and my camera. And guess what we have? The boy and the girl, isn't that cute? Oh, wait, let me do a thumb tack, y'all. Oh, yeah, okay. Thumb tack. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take, I don't know if y'all want to use the glue gun. Oh, let me see if Nene can help me with that. Nene, can you help me with that? Because it's so tight. Uh, either wise, we have to run some warm water on it, you know, some warm water on those glues when the tops get glued down like that, y'all. Just run some warm water on it. Okay? So I'm going to use this kind of glue today, y'all. This is safe, safe glue for the children because I try not to use the glue gun all the time. But if you want, these are some of the stuff you need. Glue gun. Glue gun and if you want to use this kind of glue you can you could do some mod pod and I'm, I know that some of y'all know when the mod pod comes in um the mod pod can come in on this you could take this and and paste it down on a cardboard or another wooden surface but what I'm going to do is something simple y'all I'm just going to just put him right up in here. Look, see how beautiful it would look. I'm going to just let me see. Let's just get him proportioned right. So I'll know where to cut him at and where to put the boy and the girl at. In the what? Kissing booth. Look, isn't that cute? Oh, don't go no more. Don't go no more. No, but I'm going to finish this project. And then I'm going to show y'all how it's going to look because I'm going to put some hearts here. Some little hearts and some more hearts here. You already got one big heart here. So let's get him done. And like I said, you can go to the Dollar Tree or go to Hobby Lobby. Any place that sells little crappy little things like this. And if I wanted more than one, what I would have did. But you know, I don't have all the equipment it's like saws and wood cutting things. So I try to do as much as I can with just what I have. So you have to glue this back together. For some reason it was hanging, y'all. I don't know why. Yeah, you can use the hot glue. But see, I work with the kids, so I try not to have the kids do the hot glue. I'm so using, uh, used to kids to do these kind of glues because they got to know how to use the hot glue. You don't want them to get burned. So this is how it looks in the back. And if you want, and one thing about this kissing booth, you don't have to put, like, support in the back to hold it up. It holds up by itself. So we're waiting for the glue to adhere. 
And as soon as this glue adhere to the little kissing boot flags here, it's so cute. And you can do a background too. If you don't want that green background, like I just showed y'all. Okay, so here you go. Let's make sure we got it right. Yeah, we do. I don't think we need any more glue, y'all. So it stands up by yourself. Isn't that wonderful? So I don't have to put like um, uh, sticks in the back to hold them up or make a hole, like, you know, get some cardboard and and uh, glue it onto the kissing boot, the back and the front, but leave one open because they got to get in, got to have a doorway. So here's the people we're going to use. Now let's let's just put them in the way we want them to go in. What y'all say about right here? Yeah, I think, oh, as long as you can see them. I might have gotten them too big, but they're free, free pictures, free images that you can get to make your, to, to your decor, as you can see. Aren't they beautiful? They're so cute. So now what we do is we pull this over. Oh, if you don't want no white, you can change the background. And how you change the background, you have to cut them out individually and, and, um, uh, Put them on like a wood wooden stick or a piece of cardboard and uh, what do you call it? What, what did we say, Nene, uh, podcast? Uh, do some mud pads. You know, you know, y'all know yeah. what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I'm, I just came home from work, y'all. So my words is not all there. A uh, popsicle stick. Oh, popsicle stick, yeah. So right now what we're going to do to make it really stern we're going to find some popsicle stick. I'll be right back. But I want to show y'all that this boot will stand up. So you really don't need too much to get a, like a thick piece of wood like this. If you want to, you can get something to hold it up. Another piece of wood in the back. But I'll be right back, y'all. So everyone, I found some popsicles to make the this boy and girl picture really stand out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make it more sterner. So I'm going to place um, some popsicle stick to make them really stand out. So you just place it like that. You put your glue on it. Got wooden glue too. Don't forget about the wooden glue, y'all. So you put your glue down here, put your glue down here, like so. All right, oops, yeah, yeah, no. Oops, don't worry about that, don't worry. And find a boy or the girl, place it right up to the top of the head, and there you have it, okay, and let it dry. And while it's drying, we're gonna talk about some more decor and stuff that we're gonna have. I have to wipe that off, y'all. Let me get a piece of tissue. I should have already had this glue for y'all. Oh, yeah. If something hit it, it'll fall. But like I said, if you want it sturdy, just get some cardboard. Um, uh, make like a little boot, you know? Yeah. You know, cut the cardboard to the size of this. Put a cardboard, uh, uh, glue it on to the side here. Cardboard to the back. Oh, well, you have to put a cardboard down here, too. You know, and then a... Uh, open space so you can see the little boys and girls walking into the boot okay y'all i don't know it's, it just seems like it's just it's taking a long time to dry but anyway y'all get the idea okay so let's get some of this glue off of here you don't need that many glue on here so now we got our two popsicle sticks and what we what this popsicle stick is going to do is make it stern like it's just gonna stand up real strong, you see? And and really, if you have scissors, you could cut the boy and the girls apart and let them stand on their own popsicle stick and in the boot a certain way. So let's see how this go now, y'all. Oh yeah, but if you want to see the arm, you have to bring it up a little bit more for the arm to show. So let's see. And you can have some white background. If you don't want the green, Change the color in the background. And how I said it, cut them apart and put them on a white um, cardboard or white, what is that paper that you use, Nene? 
construction paper? construction paper, right. They placed them on it with some Mod Pod. Put the Mod Pod down on the construction paper. Place the boy and the girl on the Mod Pod separate. And put the Mod Pod over it. And then begin to glue it here onto the boot. Okay, y'all? All right, so we got some arms showing. So that's good. And we got a little bit of water up here. I mean, white up here. So what we're going to do is move this over. Nope, we can't move it over, you see, because you're going to not have too much of the boy and girl. So we got it precisely right now. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So we take it, go in here, and if you have a ruler, use a ruler. Because not everybody's going to get this right. You take um, some of your glue. Go down here, around here, where you're going to put this, this um, picture at. Yeah, just like that, y'all. Don't worry about it. Let me tell you, don't worry about this. And it's good for your family. And if you have too much, but remember now, whatever you have left, you have to cut it off, okay? So put it, like, measure up to this part of, oop, okay, y'all. Let's take our time because we are not, and we're not the, we're, we're just doing what we want to do for our own decoration, okay? For Valentine's Day. Now I'm giving y'all this idea. So here we go. Um, yeah, you can leave a little bit of white in there. So the rest of this, what we're going to do, once it dry, we're going to cut off. The remaining white part, because we really don't need that no more, y'all. We already got our girl situation and our boy situated. So, we cut it as good as we can, as perfect as we can. Okay? And there you have them. Mm. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Now, yeah, you can keep cutting. Don't worry, cut, cut in here. Look, it's just an idea, like I told y'all. Don't worry about it. Do the best you can. Some of us are good at doing these kind of decor. Mm -hmm. Some of us are, are just amateurs just trying to do things to save money for our families and friends, you know, to come over and have something for Valentine. But guess what, y'all? We got a birthday. We got some people in my family that have birthdays. Um, I have a niece that have a birthday. Uh, I think it's, uh, oh, February 12th. So this would be good for her to have. And she's going to be um, sweet 16. Yeah. Then I have another family member that is turning 45, y'all. 45. And around Valentine's Day. So this will probably be more of her type of thing. So, yeah, just keep trimming it around. Because, um, you know, I just came home from work, like I told y'all. I'm just giving y'all this simple idea. Okay, don't worry about this. We're we going to throw away this tablecloth anyway. So, so, once you get that idea done, you got your boy and your girl, and they got their arms showing, and they're in the kissing booth. So, you get the idea. Now, we're going to take some hearts and add it where? Anybody got any ideas? Well, what I'm going to do is put a heart here. No, you don't want a heart there? Heart here. So you just play around with it, you know? We already got one big heart, so let's put it here. Yes, yeah, somebody have a heart. And then we got a pink heart. So what we're going to do, this one's going to need a glue, y'all. Yes, y'all are right. It's definitely going to need a glue. So we're going to take this heart, and we're going to put some glue, and it's a glitter heart on it. You could, you could sand it down with some sandpaper. If you think it's not going to glue right with that glitter on it. Yeah, don't be afraid to do it. And hold it for a few minutes. Let it get dry. Hold it. Okay, so now you see how our decor is coming together for the kissing booth for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I didn't use gloves. I brought gloves for nothing because I thought the glue would be all over my hand. And this one sticks by itself. Yeah, it sticks by itself. So you really don't need to. Oh, you could, yeah, you could bring it down if you want. Put it there. Who cares? Put it right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we're going to need another little heart right in here. 
You can put a whole bunch of hearts here. You don't know what I mean? Put a whole bunch of hearts. Yeah, mm. put it in here like so. I just... If you don't have enough glue, put some more glue on it. And now we have our kissing booth. See how beautiful that is? And you can also get some lips to put in here, red lips or whatever. Now, let's finish this up, y'all. To make it more romantic for somebody that you're romantic in, you could do something like this. Bring some champagne glass out. Have them sit at the table. Look, get some candles. Put it on the side of the kissing boot. Okay, like so. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? You can make your, your family member a beautiful cake. And you can also decorate it with what? Balloons and a candy rolls, chocolate rolls. Let's bring it up. All right, y'all. And put some nuts at the bottom if you want to. Let me move the nut. I think the nut thing is in the way. Okay, so there you have it. You have your kissing boot. You have um, your Valentine decor uh, for family members or friends or whoever the loved one is. Right there in their face. So what we're going to do now, when we come back, we're going to um, straighten up, do some, um, well, this DIY is very simple. And also, you can make them a cake. Let me show you the cake. I baked this cake myself, y'all. Let me get over here and give y'all a good idea of how this cake looks. Look at that beautiful cake, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful cake. Yes, it is. Very beautiful. And I'm quite sure this person probably can't wait to cut into the cake. So here's your whole Valentine's decor. You got a cake. You cut a cake. You can put some champagne glasses on the side. I can see if I can find some for y'all. Like Nene show y'all that beautiful decor we just made. If I can't find it, y'all know what to do. Just get some champagne glass. I don't know if I have any on. Uh, I got, yeah, I got some champagne glass. So, you get your champagne glass. Of course, we're going to rinse these out, okay? Rinse your champagne glasses out. Like so. Yeah, now you're talking, right? Now we're talking. Now, this is for the lovebirds, the real lovebirds. You're going to rinse these out. Because they, they dusty. They've been in the, um, have that for quite a while. While well, they, they show you all that, I'm going to rinse off that champagne glass. And it's going to look like beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful glasses when I show you this. And look at this. A simple idea. Look at that beautiful cake that you and your loved one can cut, um, cut together. And I'm not talking about just some um, man and boy. But you get the whole idea. It's a Crossover, and you got the little balloons and stuff there to um, excite your family members or excite your loved one or your spouse. Now, here we go. You and your spouse can what? Yeah. <laughs> there we have it. Let me take a picture. Okay. Okay, so I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, beautiful decor idea that I showed you. Yeah, you can put the candles in the front. Oops, but remember, if you're afraid of that falling, y'all, I told y'all what to do. Get something that's going to stabilize it. I don't have time. I just come home from work, and I'm just hurrying up to put a decor, give y'all an idea. So here's our beautiful cake here in the back, and it's a strawberry cake with the strawberry even on top and the go and bees and th those are edible bees so you can eat that and then you have your little balloons here you got your heart for your loved one uh family members uh birthday girl this is low budget okay when you don't have a lot of money to spend cut the cake have your man over your husband your spouse oh look honey if you remember these days yeah so dinner you can make them some Bake uh, lasagna, 
uh, lobster, go find it cheap somewhere probably. You might get find lobster tail for maybe $9 a tail. But it's the whole idea and the thought, y'all. It's just a simple idea. We're not doing that much. Okay, so what I'm going to do while Nene is still showing y'all that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So now you can cut the cake. Isn't this a beautiful decoration? This decor is so beautiful for any special occasion. Just change it over. And we're going to get back to the polar bear. You know, let's go get the polar bear. I'll bring it over while Nene's showing y'all that beautiful cake I made for, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this with my niece's birthday because her birthday is February the 12th. But y'all get the whole idea. All right. So anybody that needs idea for a Valentine, a simple thing, I got you. Signing out. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Well, going to be in the Colo Bear. <laughs> and he's added too to the decor. Don't forget about him. Yes, he's added. So Colo Bear, do you have anything to say? Happy Valentine's Day. Many have many, many more. Okay, so signing out from Sweet Sugar Plum Decor Idea. Did I say that right, y'all? No? Okay, Sweet Sugar Plum Home Decor Ideas. Mildred, also known as what? Millie Mill. Love y'all. Mmm, mmm, sweet sugar plum pie, what a comfort